If you want to make great code, you need to return early and often. Let's take an example here. Here we have a function called login user that takes an email and a password. First, we get the user from the database and then we check if the user exists. Now, if the user exists, we also check if the password is correct. And then we'll make a token and see if the token is made properly and then we'll return that to the user or we'll return a database error. If it's a wrong password, then we just return wrong password. And if the user doesn't exist, we return user does not exist. This example is not too complicated to gauge what is actually happening here. But would you guarantee that this is working in all the case scenarios? And what if we had to change it, such as adding a new check or removing a check? A better way is to return early and often. So again, we have a login user and we get that user from the database. We check if the user does not exist. If it doesn't exist, then we return an error. So you can see we return very fast, very easy. And now we know that we, when we continue in the code that the user exists. Then we check if the password is wrong. And if it's wrong, we return that the password is wrong. Then afterwards we make a token and we check if that token is valid and if it's not we return an error and then afterwards we return welcome you can see this is more or less the same amount of lines and the functionality is equivalent but why is this better well our brains work better sequentially than branching out when you have a lot of if or for or try catches inside of each other it's very hard for the brain to understand what is defined in this scope it's also easier to add a simple check somewhere or remove one Let's say that we don't need to check if the token exists or not. We can just remove that. And that's it for now. But this is just one video in this series. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.